Heard. All right, let's move a little bit to uh, health care because we got some good um, sound of this. Now, uh, today, Donald Trump came out. Now, understand that as of Wednesday, you had Paul Ryan saying, we're going to have to change the House bill, my bill, uh, to actually pass in the House. Because apparently the Speaker of the House was not aware of where his uh, entire caucus stood on health care. Uh, reform. So supposedly what this um, appears to be, and this is Paul Ryan um, trying to save him his speakership by appealing to the Freedom Caucus. I think they have already given up on this bill getting past both House and um, both the House and the Senate. And now they're just going for the House. And so here is Donald Trump after what he calls an all-night session, sitting around with some of these uh, Freedom Caucus people, uh, basically saying, um, we made a deal. And uh, we're not going to tell you what the deal is, but uh, we are going to change the bill for, really, I guess, the worse. Health care and how it's going. <clears throat> or a maybe. And we had a nice meeting, and we've been talking all during the night. This didn't just happen over the last 20 minutes. Right. This has been going all night long. And we are doing some incredible things. I want everyone to know I'm 100 percent behind this. I want everybody to know that the press has not been speaking properly about speaking how properly. great this is going to be. They have not been giving it a fair press. The press is, well, as you know, in many cases, I call it the fake news. It's oh! Fake news. This is, is going to be what great for people. I, watch, I hadn't heard that before. I say that's not the bill we're passing. And I also want everyone to know that all of these no's or potential no's are all yeses. Every single person sitting in this room is now a yes. And we made certain changes. And very frankly little, although the block grant is very important, because I want the states to get the money and to run their program if they want to run it because they can do it better than the federal government. They're better equipped than the federal government. I also want people to know that Obamacare is dead. It's a dead health care plan. It's not even a health care plan, frankly. And I watched the architect of the plan yesterday. I watched the old clip where he said the American people are stupid to have voted for it. I watched Bill Clinton saying, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And only because everyone knows it's on its last dying feet the fake news is trying to say good things about it, okay? Fake media. There you go. Uh, incidentally, uh, F you, Bill Clinton. Thank you for that. That was a nice uh, That was a nice gift. Look, subconsciously, I didn't want my wife to win. What do you want from me? <laughs> and also, I resent Barack Obama for being so, younger. So this is an indication that Donald Trump has been told, like, look, you need to project this idea that Obamacare is failing under its own feet, which is... Exactly what I think in like December I was saying that they were going to have to try and promote. The, I don't think they're doing a particularly good uh, job of it, but the polling still suggests that people think it's in trouble. So Democrats need to get out and, you know, basically push what the CBO reported. It's not. It's, it's perfectly stable. It also is an indication if they're going to make this more conservative on a day when Susan Collins came out and said she can't vote for it in the Senate, that they basically have given up the ghost and they're just going to um, try and get it through the House so it doesn't look like a total debacle and so that Paul Ryan can give his most conservative members that ability to say they voted to quash, um, quash Obamacare. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.